Oh ho! So, here's a thing that happened. Uh, last week, at the end of the uh, at the end of the stream, I didn't save. I just kind of closed the game. And when I was loading into Baldur's Gate 3 today, I just loaded my most recent uh, quick save slash auto save, just kind of assuming that it would be. Um, that it would be relative to the end of the battle or whatever that we had at the end of the last stream. Nope. 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 This is, uh, this is not me save scumming. I don't intend to save scum. Uh, if, if we get someone killed, we get someone killed. Uh, I might or might not do everybody gets one, but in terms of, like, major character decisions and that sort of thing, we're just gonna go with what we go with, unless... <laughs> In this instance, I completely, totally forget to save like a schmuck. In which case, uh, this is Demaze. This is his friend, Nemissa. Uh, this is our friend, Lazel. Lazel's in a cage. This may seem strangely familiar to you. Hey, Astarian, are you, uh, are you leveled up? Yeah, Astarian appears to be leveled up. Okay. Uh, l let's go over our team real quick. We've got Celeste. She's a ranger. We've got Shadowheart, the cleric. Astarian the rogue way, and Gale, he's a wizard. He's probably the least interesting man in the history of the world. But, uh, I only have so many reference points for Baldur's Gate 3. And so far my reference points are Celeste, who is the main character because she's me, Astarian, who is an awesome vampire rogue, Shadowheart, who, well, we're just gonna hit the Law & Order drop. And on top of that, she's a cleric or whatever. And then there's Gale. Oh, there's also Lazel, who, you know, and she's a, a scary kick-ass uh, barbarian chick or whatever. And then there's Gale, which, um, well, and then there's Gale. Oh, I'm sure Gale gets OP as fuck. He's a wizard in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> That's what they do. But, um, thus far as a person, Gale is a, a, a nice enough fellow who sounds exactly like Alistair Dragon Age, and that's about all he has going for him. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go over here and try to bargain for the freedom of Lazel. That didn't work out very well last time, but maybe we can try something different? At the ready. I don't know what we could do different, but we could try something different. You think it's dangerous? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Hi there. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Okay. Uh, all right. Listen, buddy. You should leave. Now, I do have a plus two to this because I'm charismatic and... I can have Shadowheart bless me with guidance. So we've got, you know, it's a DC 10. I can roll decent. Come on. Get out of here, friends. It worked this time. All right. We don't have to murder people. Yay. She's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. I'm sorry. Wait, there was a blast. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. Hmm. Uh, tell me more of camp. Uh, I've already... Uh, uh, okay, so it's DC 5, and I've got a bonus of 3 or more. Don't roll a 1. Don't roll a 1. I didn't roll a 1. Success! Northwest. Look for Nettie. Whatever your wound... She can mend it. Okay. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Hmm. No mess. Now, come. Now is that is that traps of Enough gawking? Get me down. Say please. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm 
so glad whatever the game reads my mind as a player. It kind of makes me feel basic and simple and dumb, but let's say that it's the game being nice. Now, um, I was going to say a thing, and I completely forgot what the thing was. I was going to taunt Lazelle for not saying please. I was going to say, presumably and hopefully, you can jo go into your journal and set active quest and the game will like tell you how to get to places. That's a video game thing. That seems like a thing this game will do. But now, Lazelle, you have to be nice. Never. 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 Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. Oh, right. Goblin traps. I was wondering, are those traps set by goblins in that they're traps constructed by goblins and used by goblins to trap things that goblins wish to trap? Or are they traps for goblins in the sense that you wish to capture and persecute and perhaps murder goblins? Hmm. I should speak up. Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. Shut up. Release me, or enjoy a future as geich. Well, okay, tell me that that word means mind flayer, even though I know it means mind flayer. Mind flayers. The atrocities we are becoming. Oh, those. I mean, are we fucked? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. All right, fine. Get me down. Let's see here. Uh, I can just... Hold on. Where might I... Camera, you're not helping. I want to shoot this rope. Can I shoot this? Uh, is this shoot the rope? Man, I hope this is shoot the rope and not shoot the... Hmm. No, it appears to be... Bottom of the... Oh! Oh. Okay, that makes more sense. Huzzah. The temple hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. Mm -hmm. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Okay. Uh, wait a second. You said you had a cure, though. A pity, that. No. I made an offer, and you accepted. Your fantasy is not my burden. Hmm. I see. All right. Uh, qu'est-ce que c'est une crèche? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Mm -hmm. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Fair enough. Uh, you know, okay, we're gonna spend this entire game trying to get Lazelle to just exhibit the, the basic decency of manners here. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. Yeah. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Okay, fine. Listen, we're going to get you to say please one way or... No, wait, hold on. All right, let's go. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Hmm. Okay. Uh, how do we do that? And how do we pretend that we're kicking anyone other than Gale out of the team for drama's sake? So. Hey, Gale. You're not first in magic, are you? I'm a ranger! I'm a... <laughs> Speak with animals on your... Well, I can't cast it on you, but I can... All right, fine. No matter to worry the unlettered over. Mm. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Hmm. Okay. Talk to Gale and tell him to get out of here. All right. Hi, Gale. How can I help? Uh, I need you to remain in the camp, which... We're going to as soon as we add Lazelle to the party, so. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Shut up, Gale. We don't even know that the camp exists yet. I'll be in the camp then, idling away the hours. <laughs> Lazelle, 
Lizelle, come with me. Has the error of your ways become clear? Uh, <laughs> scowl all you like. <laughs> Oh, nope, that was that was the end conversation button. Lazelle. Has the error of your ways become clear? Come with me. You have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such fortune. Call me Lazelle. I already knew your I name. Trust your judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You've a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. Hey now. Half elf. Hey! I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Geth Yankee. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Tremendous. All right. Uh, so Lazel leveled up. Everybody gets some experience. Let's level Lazel up to two. I presume this is two. They kind of have Jack Miranda vibes. Shadowheart doesn't have the, at least from what I've seen thus far, Shadowheart doesn't have the ruthless killer instinct that Miranda has. She's like, I get the comp because one is a crazy wild child who will wreck the shit out of your shit and is also pretty hot. And the other is a black haired chick with a very pretty voice who is significantly more hot. And they don't like each other. What's that drop doing there? Anyway, um, but yeah, I, as just taken individually, I don't really see Shadowheart as a good comp for Miranda yet. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a, a an evil murder warrior chick who will kill the equivalent of her childhood friend for fucking over the equivalent of her sister later. Who knows? Anyway, uh, Lazelle can hit level two. You get Action Surge, which is tremendous. You also get eight more hit points. Good for you. What if I told you that Lazelle is Miranda? <laughs> well, that would be weird. Okay. So uh, congratulations, you're a level two fighter. You get hit points and Action Surge. That's it, you've made all your choices. Fighter is simple. <laughs> Would not be a bad idea if uh, if I decide that I want to multi-class out of Ranger at some point. Would not be a bad idea to pick up a few levels in Fighter just for, you know, the fighteriness of it all. Anyway, uh, how do we go about camp? We go to camp and resting menu and then uh, just go to camp. Go to camp. Okay, so there's... You don't, like, set up camp. It's just, like, camp is this ethereal place that always exists. Kind of like, um, kind of like Dragon Age Origins, I guess? Is, is, is that about fair? That feels like about fair. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Okay. So now we are in camp. We can go around and meet our friends. Let's 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 go around and say hi to, well, fucking everybody, I guess. Hey, Astarian. You're up first, mostly because you were here first. I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Lazelle is delightful. Oh, you In a very look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Of course. It's cute to me that you think of her as the new girl because I knew her before I knew you, so... Okay. Uh, tell me more about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's okay. I don't know. I was, I, I, I was kind of expecting like, oh, here's my backstory. I'm definitely not going to tell you that I'm a vampire, but I'm going to hint that I have a history with vampires. <laughs> my name's Astarian. Uh, this appears to be a, a training dummy of some kind. Is that why, uh, I would imagine, sports pun, that on console, there's a lot more, like, move with the joystick and interact with the X button than pointy-clicky. It's probably good, but we'll see. Maybe one day. 
Hello, Lazel. Chatter already, Tusky. Okay. Uh, here, let's do a racism. I expect I am your first. Um, yeah, honestly, as a player, I don't know shit about the Gith Yankee. Honestly, I thought she was a half orc, half orc the first time I saw her. Chick. I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. Half elves? That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Yeah, well, yours looks like you could be in Final Fantasy Tactics, lady. Decadent, then, <laughs> lacking in economy. Mm. Like so much of this world and its undisciplined people. Okay, so so are you saying that every inch of those ears is purely honed efficiency? Is that what we're going with here? Okay. I understand much beyond your comprehension. Mm. More to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Fair enough. Uh, do you know what? I think I know what happens if we don't find a cure. We turn into mind flayers, and then we go off and flay some minds. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Mm. Then you start to hallucinate. Your hair falls out, and you bleed from every orifice. Your bones oh, no. will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. Ew. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Okay, then, then. you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. Great. Awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to suppress my rising panic here. That shiver betrays your fear. Suppress it. It is useless. Oh. We must find my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The first symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. Mmm. Uh, well, Celeste, they could be slow burning, though. Yes, if you give it no further thought. But anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. All right, you have a point. So that's Lazel. She's just a absolute ray of sunshine, is what she is. Uh, holy shit, this camp is huge. It's a. Uh... Oh, hi there, magic mural mirror portal to other dimensions. The fuck are you? Let's see. Do. The hell does this do? Is this like a character appearance editor thing? This is indeed like a character editor appearance thingy. Okay, fine. That's still Celeste. We're not gonna we're not gonna tweak unless we decide we really need to do something. Good to know that's there. Alright. Uh hey Gail. Oh, we can just have ourselves a sit on the fallen tree. Okay. Can I have a sit on the... Oh, wait, hold on. There's a box. Contents of this box are... Uh, there's nothing in the box. Okay. But we can have ourselves a sit on a good old-fashioned sitting log. Oh my god, it literally is just a sitting log. <laughs> okay, I like that. What is in the inventory of this table? Nothing. Tremendous. Hi, Gail. The Githyanki joining our company. Not a collaboration I'd have anticipated, but a welcome one nonetheless. Hmm. Okay, so do Gail Astarian and Shadowheart just think of themselves as the base party? And then Lazel, who we met before fucking all of them? is just the new person. All right, fine. Let's see. 
I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I mm -hmm. am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Right then. I have a cat, a library, <laughs> and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. I see. There. Okay. <laughs> All right, Gail, I'm going to replace the, the, the observation that you have no personality with you brag over the most ridiculous things, which... All right, fine. Uh, tell, me, tell me about being an archmage. Didn't that paint enough of a picture? No. Try peering into his mind. Yes! Yes, tremendous. Use those mind flayer powers and not that minus one wisdom modifier. Uh, Shadowheart, can I get, um... Can I get guidance for reading Gale's mind? No? Well, this isn't gonna go well. Oh my god, it didn't go well! <laughs> that went poorly. <laughs> okay. Alright. Gale is a mystery to me. I shall never know this man. Try as you might to breach his inner thoughts, Gale swaps your efforts away with infuriating ease. I have a very disciplined mind. Those tricks won't work on me. Oh, please oh, don't I, try that again unless I invite you to. I literally used the... Oh, okay. I literally used the worm to try to worm into his brain worm, and he was like, nope, my brain worm. Okay. Sorry, Gail. I should have been a better tad pal. Damn it. All right. Shadowheart, where the hell are you? No, actually, I'm... Shadowheart? Shadowheart, where the hell did you go? Like... Oh, there you are. You're blue. You, you, you appear to be spectral. Are you intentionally spectral? Should I be concerned that you're... Oh, no, okay. You, maybe your outline was just bugged. It's fine. Lazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Mm-hmm. We certainly want her to say... We shouldn't, certainly wouldn't want her, rather, to say murder something that we have intentionally knocked unconscious with a sweep spell. Just hypothetically. Uh, why are you carrying a 20-sided die so as to put a lampshade on the fact that this is a Dungeons & Dragons game? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear, anyway. Just forget you ever saw it. Okay. All right, fine. Uh, hi there. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Well... Okay, fine, but, uh, yeah, we, 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 what if we relied on each other? Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Chick's got a point. Chick does have a point. But, you know, what if I'm openly flirting with you? <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. All right, fine. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. So far. Uh, tell us what you feel like about the, the possible concept of turning into a mind flayer. I'm betting you're opposed to it. We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? Our imminent doom! Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. All right, fine. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. I'm not too hopeful that a gith crash will actually prove our salvation, but worth keeping in mind. Uh, what then? I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. But adventuring party! Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Baldur's Gate. Hey, same. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Ooh, personal quest, I bet. Tell me more. Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. I see. All right, fine. 
Well, um, not to channel my, not to channel my inner Ernie or anything, but do you like me? Am I okay? You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly, but all things considered, you'll do. I see. And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. I did do that. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. Uh, alright. Can I just hit numbers to do this, by the way? Presumably yes, because I hit three and then left the conversation. Great! Now then, is this your box or is this my special DLC rewards box? Let's find out. Uh, I have... Ooh! I have a special DLC rewards box. Cool! I have a Drake General die, which means I can I can die things. Okay. So anytime you hit send to camp, it goes here. Cool. Bewildering Adventurers pack. Look at the pack is stitched with the likeness of a helmet of war. Okay, so All right, can I just Ah. So inside this thing is mm, Oh, those potatoes look really good. Uh, and, and this haggis, and, and okay, so this is just a whole bunch of camp supplies. And, ooh, potion of featherfall. Uh, yoink that. Uh, if I just, if I don't want to hold this in my hand, but I do want to put it in my inventory. Is that what, uh, yes, okay. Potion of mind reading. Ooh. Potentially useful. Uh, potion of flying, gain the ability to fly. I'll hang on to that. Potion of Speak with Animals. I literally took a spell to do that. Uh, camp supplies just live here and get drained as needed, I assume. Do I have to do anything with them other than just leave them here? Hopefully not. Uh, Elixir of Hill Giant Strength means you increase your strength to 21, which is good for, you know, murdering things and hucking shit and that sort of thing. Okay, cool. Now if I escape out of that, I go back into the chest... When the game checks for camp supplies, it checks your camp inventory. Okay. Uh, so inside this peculiar clothing chest, sadly you can't like click an I Can I double click this? No. No, now I have, added, I have added the chest and all of its goods to my inventory. Great. So I have the mask of the shapeshifter, which means I can cast shapeshift, which is great. That, it seems very useful, potentially game breaking even. Uh, however, I want to... Here, let, let me just drop this item. What is in this peculiar clothing chest? Uh, I have the Cape of the Red Prince, which is a, a noble warrior's cloak. All right. Uh, loot of the Merryweather Bard. So if you were a bard, you would have a, a neat little loot. Uh, Bicorn of the... <laughs> okay, so you get a fancy hat. That, that's nice. And, oh, hi. That is, uh, is a neat little uh, 1d4 plus... It's a plus three dagger. Hey, Astarian. Hey, Astarian. Can we uh, send to Astarian? Just, just give him that so he can use that, probably. Uh, I don't have a bard yet. The bicorn of the sea beast is apparently just fun. Like it's it's just a, a fancy little hat, which okay. Cool, cool, cool. Great. Now then, if I was to click over Don't here. Touch me. No, Astarian, I have to. Oh! All of these items are from the Companions in Divinity Original Sin 2. Neat! That's very cool. Now, if I was to go over here and... No, we need to go inventory for you. Okay. So you right now have uh, just a straight-up dagger, but you could have uh, the Needle of the Outlaw Rouge, which uh, doesn't actually do anything different. It's just a dagger. Okay. Oh, I was seeing the plus three because I'm also Dexy. All right, well... You know what? You could have the needle and a dagger. You know what? That's even better than just saying, uh, yeah. 
You will automatically use your bonus action to make an offhand attack while using two weapons unless you toggle this option. Uh, which is... Somewhere. I just saw it, and then it, uh... The dual-wielding toggle is on your hotbar underneath your... Aha! So you toggle dual-wielding on or off. You know what? Let's toggle that off. Astarian has plenty of bonus actions. I might not want him to, uh... Want him to always slash, but it's good to know it exists. Also, I kind of can't believe your name is Astarian. Like... I spent months seeing everybody who talks about this game talk about this guy in particular, and every single time I read his name as Astarian, and then it's just like, no, my name is Astarian. Which, hmm. Anyway, uh, is there anything else to actually do here? Uh, you ca we have invasion plans for the sword. I'm sorry, who's invading the Sword Coast? Why are we invading the All Sword right. Coast? Gale? Oh, also, I'm controlling Astarian. Oops. Uh, this map of the Sword Coast sprawls from the deep forest of Tithia to the rigid spine of the world. Okay. Cool. I want to be Celeste now, please. Still breathing. Thank you. Despite everything. Okay, so someone is planning to invade the Sword Coast, which seems ambitious, but what are we going to do? All right. Is there anything else to do in camp other than uh, lie down for a long rest? I don't think so. So, uh, I only saw the one bed, so I'm guessing we just go over, find the bed, and be like sleepy time? If not over, then through. Ah. No, this is just, haha, I want to lie down in bed. This is uh, camp right of the bottom right of your hotbar. Click the moon. Right. Oh, click that and then the. Okay. Okay. Long rest. We will end the day. It's been a day. Okay, and now it is nighttime, which means we can have a, a separate nighttime conversation. Okay. Hi, Gail. You're up and about. Mm, I want to have a word. Do you have special nighttime conversations? Go to hell. Who, me? The hell did I do? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm just poorly making a point. I mean, I did go to hell. Go to hell. Literally. An everyday expression. So trivial, it's almost meaningless. Okay. So we've seen hell. It's real. And it isn't trivial. There are like nine of them. Jeebus notes that... Uh... Possibly not the game for him. Yeah, not not every game is right for everybody. Listen, if you enjoy what if you enjoy watching the game, watch the game. Thus far, you know, it, it is difficult to say. It has been two hours of gameplay, and we've been dicking around for a lot of it. Uh, we should talk to Astarian next. If you talk to two people before him, he clams up and won't speak to you. Well, that's stupid. Uh, we have indeed seen hell. Um, hey, what happened to Smiley Happy Boasty Guy? Merely contemplating. Mm -hmm. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pictures on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. Well, I mean... That's not abstract. No. No, I suppose it's not. Um, 
Yeah, we're kind of fucked. Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Hmm. Thanks, Gale. All right. Uh, under strict orders, lest he be a complete asshole about it, let's go talk with Astarian. Don't walk over the... Oh, good, she didn't walk over the fire. Your magician seems dour tonight. Must not relish the idea of sprouting tentacles. No, he's not Understandable. happy. Understandable. Can't say I'm a fan either. It's just hard to join in when all of this feels so new. The night normally means bustling streets, bursting taverns. Mm -hmm. Curling up in the dirt and resting is, um, a little novel. Just a little? Is it almost like, say, you're used to prowling and predating and you know, biting people in the neck at night? Astarian? No? All right, fine. Well, I'm a ranger, so I'm going to get credit for being a ranger. Uh, no. Tea isn't really my drink. Hey, same! I'll be awake a while anyway. I need some time to oh, think wait. things through to process this. That's also a vampire reference, isn't it? You sleep. I'll keep watch. Hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. The pleasure is all mine. Sweet dreams. All right. Uh, Astarian wins the first character to openly flirt with the main character award, which, hey, good for him. Uh, that is Lazel. So if everybody's going to notice who the hell I talk to and in what order I talk to them, uh, let's go over this very long way first. Shadowheart, do you have anything new to say? Doing the rounds, are you? You'd better get some rest. Um... What were you two talking about? I, 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 I seem to have briefly lost all memory of any conversation before uh, these exact moments. Uh, you know, we, we were uh, talking about mind flares and blood and stuff. I see. Uh-huh. I'd be careful with Gale. Why? Um... This, this is indeed my first time seeing everyone's casual clothes. And it's like, oh, okay, Gale has a slightly different purple frock. That makes sense. Astarian is in a generic fantasy nightshirt. Sure. Shadowheart takes off her fucking armor and it's like, moons out, boobs out, I guess. <laughs> You like to stir things up. I wasn't confiding. No, there was no confiding happening. There was no confiding happening. There was no confiding happening. There was talking. So am I. Okay. If we're to survive, we need to trust each other. Uh-huh. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Mm-hmm. Best if we focus on that. Right. This is true. The sooner we find someone to help, the better. Good. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Okay. So Shadowheart doesn't like it that I've been talking to other people. Uh, by this logic, Lazelle is going to be... Actually, Lazelle's probably just going to be mad that I'm talking to her again, but... Let's do that. Don't mind me, Astarian. I'm just walking across your a candle. A forms inside us, yet you waste time with idle chatter. <laughs> okay. First of all, Lazelle is mad that I was talking to someone else. Also, Lazelle has joined in on the party and has embraced the philosophy. Moons out, boobs out. I feel horribly overdressed all of a sudden. I need a titty nighty. Clearly. Oh, God. Okay. Go to bed. Which one of these am I pretending is mine? Uh, they, they, they're they fucking identical. Seems simple enough. 
Okay. Um. Oh, you, the game wants you to choose which foodstuffs you burn for your. I don't. F no game. Just. Okay. Oh, you can min max this down to exact. Oh. Oh, there's a min max option. Well, that's. Okay. Well, now I feel compelled to. Because you only want to use. You want to. Okay. Here, can, can I get it down to exactly 40? Now I have to get it down to exactly 40. Son of a bitch. Hold on, there's just a thing that. Game! Well, I guess, like, you want to. Okay, that does make sense. Here, don't use the fish, do use the mixed coffee. Burn as many inventory slots as we can and also get down to exactly 40. I suppose that makes sense. Yeah, full rest. Darum. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. And if you want to catch the streams live, go to twitch.tv slash the underscore goog. The stream schedule is on screen now. Wow.